Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. In 2020, we have more than 3 million views of our videos on YouTube channel. And so as part of the celebration, I decided to do a webinar. I think I had more than 500 teachers where I presented 10 of the most useful features in YouTube, 10 really useful tips if you're a teacher for using YouTube. And I was amazed that many of the teachers didn't know many of the tips that I showed them. So this is a video that if you're a YouTube user and you're a teacher, you're gonna find this really, really useful 10 top tips for working with YouTube. And also, if you're interested, just now on the screen at the top, there's 10 methods for searching on YouTube because that's also really useful for teachers. This one's more about tips for using YouTube. I really hope you like the video and if you do please like it, please share it, please comment on it. I've also added below in the description a menu system so you can jump to any of the particular tips that you might be interested in. Let's get started. Hi this is Russell Stanar from teachertrainingvideos.com We've had more than 3 million views of our videos in 2020 and as part of a celebration I did a big webinar to over a thousand teachers and I took them through some of the tricks when working with YouTube and I was stunned to realize that most of the teachers in fact didn't know any of the tips and so I'm going to show you 10 really useful things that it's worth knowing if you're a teacher and using YouTube which most of us are doing in the classroom so really hope you like this video and if you do please like it please share it please comment on it let's get started 10 top tips for working with YouTube I'm often amazed when I see teachers in the classroom they play a video problems that they have it in and then they have to run over to their mouse and click on it again to stop it actually you don't have to do that you can click the space bar on your keyboard of your computer watch this I'm going to do exactly the same thing I don't need to use my mouse click include some really important things click again to stop using the space bar I'm going to click the space bar again now to continue it's like when we screen share understanding how and stop it again really useful you're in the class you want to stop the video to explain something you just touch the space bar on your keyboard video stops you explain you click it again to continue zoom shares okay that's the first tip Okay, this next tip is particularly useful to language teachers. It doesn't always work. It does depend a little bit on the settings of the person that made the video. But if we take most of my videos, so let's look at this one here, and we click here, notice it says open transcript. And then suddenly you get the transcript here on the right hand side. Now, not only that, but as you play the video, it will show up in the transcript here. Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. If you're a language teacher, notice that that's moving through. So that's a really useful and it applies nearly always to uh, English generated content. It does apply in other languages as well. It, as I said, it does depend slightly on the settings that the person that uploaded the video has set. Now in a minute I'm going to show you some amazing ways of jumping around your video that many teachers don't realize but one that we can use is by using the transcript. In fact if we just scroll down through the transcript and click on any point the video will actually jump to that point there and then if we click on the play button or use the space bar the video will start. I'm going to quickly demonstrate another one. So we can easily jump to certain points within the video and then use the space bar to play the video. He wrote out some true sentences about... This next tip is really, really useful. You're playing a video and you wanna jump back to the beginning. And again, you have to grab the mouse, stop the video, move it back and play it. No, you don't. Watch this, I'm simply gonna click on the number zero. So I'm playing the video, 
and it will show me the current click on the zero and the video jumps all the way back to the beginning just clicking on the video on z on the number zero will jump the video back to the beginning so at the moment we're here in the video and if i click on zero again it will jump straight back to the video and now if i click on the space bar hey, this is russell standing from teaching it will start the video again. So great uh, way of controlling the video that you can jump back to the beginning by clicking zero on your keyboard. Okay, this is another lovely example. I'm just gonna close the transcript down. We got the video on the screen here and I wanna watch it in full size. Now what a lot of teachers do is they come down with their mouse and they try to remember and I always forget which one is the correct button. All you need to remember is to click on T. I'm going to start the video. Okay, so the I'm going to click on T. This application. If I click here it's and you see that the video now comes to full screen and if I click on T again it will go back to the default mode. So just using the T button is such a great way of moving in and out of the view when you're trying to present to your students. Really, really helpful. And again, you don't have to use the mouse and run over. You simply click on the T, open it up, bigger size, click on the space bar to start the video. You're gonna open that application. Stop with the space bar, click T again, and you're back to the default mode. Just a super quick interlude before we come back to the video, just to say if you like the video and you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads of things highlighted on the opening page, but you've got all these different technologies here at the top. And if you really want to follow my work, then sign up to my newsletter. That way you'll be updated with all the latest videos, the blog posts, the webinars and the online courses that I run. And also at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, you will get a six part training course uh, to help you if you're a teacher and you're interested in incorporating technology into your teaching and learning. Uh, right, let's get back to the video. This is a really useful tip for language teachers. You can slow down the speed of a video. Now I'm learning Polish and I find this really useful, particularly when I'm listening to native speakers. So if I'm playing a video, or let's just do it before we turn the video on, we just click on settings and I'm gonna set the playback speed and I was just playing around with it now. It can be normal, but if I want it, I can just click and I'm gonna set it down to quite slow speed. And now I'm gonna play the video got a great video for you today and you can hear that it's now a lot slower that can be very useful and a great tip to show your students a useful tip sometimes particularly when you're working with a shorter video is that if you right click over the video you can actually loop a video and that will mean that when it comes to the end of that video it will just go back to the beginning and start again and that can be quite useful. One feature that I use all the time is the watch later button. So let's say for example I find the video, I really like it, I click on save and then I add it to this button here. I just click here on watch later and that immediately is added to watch later. Now, why is that useful? Well, because if ever I come over to my channel, so I click here and come to my channel, on the left-hand side, and let me just stop Hi, this. Hi, this is Russell Stanoff. On the left-hand side, there is always at the top of your lists here, you have various lists here, but one of them is the watch later list. And if you click on that, then you will see a list of all the videos that you've got in your watch later list. And I tend to put loads of videos in here. In fact, I've got 144 at the moment. So <laughs> you can see, um, I probably don't use it very effectively. However, once you've watched the video, and this is what I tend to do is then click here and just simply remove that from my watch later list.
Another feature that I always use when I'm trying to find a video that I've lost. Um, again, you get this from going to your channel. And over on the left hand side here, you have something called history. And it actually gives you a history of all the videos that you've been watching. And so, of course, you can search through that list and it will go back for a long way. Um, and one thing about this list as well, which is great, of course, it means that if ever you've got a video that you can't remember, uh, but you did watch it a couple of weeks ago, you can actually go back and find it. And you can clear that list if you want to clear it. I generally don't do that because it's so useful uh, when I look for a video that I can't find. Um, and you can also l l delete things from the history list as well. So, for example, if I wanted to delete this, I can delete that. And my final tip is really just another one again to do with these kind of automatic lists that you, YouTube creates for you. So an automatic list of your history, an automatic list of any videos that you add to watch later. And another way to add a video is if you like it. So if we jump on this video here, for example, and Keep getting stuck we're just gonna like this video. So we come down here and we click on the like button. Okay, so we've been added to the like button. Now, if we come back to our uh, channel or to our homepage, so I'm just gonna click here to come back to the homepage, you can do that. Now, if we come up on this left-hand side, you'll see up near the top, there's something called liked videos. And if we click on that, you'll see that that video that I've just liked on has actually been added to another list, which is all the videos that I've liked. So you've almost got three ways of referencing videos that you might have come across and want to find. Now, I'm gonna make another whole set of videos about searching on YouTube because there are so many tricks around searching, but certainly in terms of finding anything that you come across and you forgot to reference, using the history, using watch later, or using liked, if you did any of those things, those are three ways that you can quickly find a video that you uh, was working with previously. Okay, really hope that video was useful. Uh, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free videos. And don't forget, if you want to follow my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. We're offering a free six-part course if you sign up to the newsletter on uh, using uh, technology in teaching and learning. And you'll also get updated with all the latest blog posts and the webinars and the courses and all the new videos. Of course, you can also follow me on my YouTube channel. And finally, if you are looking for some training or your company is looking for some training, perhaps it's Camtasia or Moodle or Zoom uh, or whatever, then please contact me from the website. You can come down and just contact me from here. And thank you very much.